Alright, greetings YouTubers. Back with another Android video. Um, you'll notice I have a different wallpaper than my last video and you'll see why in a minute. Uh, this video I'm going to talk about a application called Launcher Pro. So I'm going to go into the market and it's under productivity and one thing that's kind of interesting you'll notice the open button is kind of grayed out so I can't uh, I can't launch this from here and the reason why is because this is actually a skin for Android it is not an application um, if you remember from earlier videos I refer to HTC Sense as a skin HTC Sense is a skin that HTC built for its HTC Android phones um, also some of their earlier Windows phones used HTC Sense uh, it's fine for some. Personally, I think it makes the phone run a little slower. Um, it's got some nice widgets, like, for example, one of the stock ones that is pretty uh, much identifiable with HTC is this giant clock here. Um, you know, some people like it. Personally, I don't. Um, I'm not a big widget fan anyways and the reason is uh, a lot of widgets on your home screen and a lot of widgets on your other home screens will actually slow your phone down and it will uh, drain battery because some of the widgets are updating themselves in the background so that's why I'm just not a big fan of widgets so when we go out of using HTC Sense we won't be able to use those widgets and for some people that's a deal breaker uh, again for me personally not not a problem so I'm going to stop HTC Sense from running the way we do that is we're gonna go to menu and then go to settings we're gonna pick applications and then select manage applications so you can see in here we have a couple of tabs up top uh, Downloaded is applications that you've downloaded either from the marketplace or that you've loaded from some other site. Um, running, which is stuff that's running in the background. All, which is everything on the phone. And then on SD card are applications that you've moved over to the SD card and they're no longer on the phone. So we're going to go to running. And you can see there's a lot of stuff running. That's one of the big problems that people have with Android phones from carriers. Uh, one of the nice things about phones like the Nexus One is that it was pretty much wide open. You, know, you could control what did and didn't run in the background. Unfortunately with carrier phones like the Sprint Evo, um, the Verizon Droid phones, those are running applications in the background whether you like it or not, and that's one of the reasons why a lot of people will root their phones and load custom um, operating systems onto them. That's pretty advanced for now. I'll probably cover that later on down the line. Uh, but for right now, this is good enough. Um, I haven't rooted my phone, and on a day of moderate use, um, you know, some tweeting, some pictures, uploads to Facebook or Flickr, um, some texting, some phone calls. I still get about eight hours out of my phone, so not too bad. Um, again, that will go down if you have a lot of widgets on your screen, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos throughout the day, um, stuff like that. So for me, it's not too bad. So here we see HTC Sense. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to do Force Stop. That's going to stop it from running. And then right now this is our default skin for Android we're gonna clear defaults and then if I hit my home button now we'll see this little menu that pops up asking us how do we want to go to the home screen do we want to go there with HTC Sense or do we want to go there with Launcher Pro so I'm gonna use this by default and I'm gonna select Launcher Pro and you'll see what kind of changes we get by using Launcher Pro. So here's our home screen. It's uh, 
looks a little bit different. And um, one of the things you'll notice right away is down here we no longer have the uh, phone, the little arrow, and the plus sign. What Launcher Pro gives you is it gives you a dock of three sets of five icons. You can customize these in a lot of ways. You can, for example, I'm going to just long press on this. Brings up this little menu that says edit the dock shortcut. You can change the shortcut. What does it go to? It can go to an application or if, like myself, you have folder um, application installed, you can have it go to that. Uh, folder organizer is what I was trying to think of, but I couldn't say. Fail. Um, you can set it to folder organizer. You can change the icons. Um, these icons that I have down here, some of them I downloaded from XDA developers. Um, you can use any picture that's on your phone as an icon. And then you can also add a swipe gesture action. So let me go back. I'll give you an example of what the swipe does. If I press on here, this is my web slash mail uh, folder that I made with Folder Organizer. Um, if I go back, hit the back button. If I press and swipe up, you'll see it launches my browser. And again, that's that's all customizable. And so let's just go back to the home screen. This big clock up here is um, it's a widget. It's called Beautiful Widgets. It's a download from the marketplace. It's two dollars and change, I believe. Uh, it gives you that big clock that um, is kind of synonymous with HTC, but you can customize that as well. Um, you can let me go into it real quick. So if I press on the weather, it's going to load the weather. Again, this has nice little animations just like the HTC Sense Weather widget does. But if I press menu, you have clock skins and weather skins, and you can download those through the app itself and you can change how the weather icons and how the clock look. Kind of cool. You can also, um, if you want to configure, you can have it show your battery level instead of the weather. Um, I have the weather because I have another application, which you can see down here, it says fully charged. Um, that's another download in the marketplace. You can, I don't remember the name, so let's go into widgets. It's called Batstat. Gives you couple of different widgets and um, you can customize those and again that's a uh, download in the marketplace um, another cool thing that launcher pro does is let's open the application tray or drawer and I have that as this awesome icon that my beautiful girlfriend made for me so we're just gonna press on that you can see our application tray is a little bit different it's got kind of a 3D scrolling effect, which, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, but the other advantage that Launcher Pro gives you over HTC Sense is that you can hide applications that you don't want to see or don't ever use. Um, for example, I hid all the Sprint applications just because I never used them. So they were just in the way. This gives you the option to do that. Pretty cool. Again, it's not an alternative to rooting your phone and, you know, loading a custom operating system, but some people are weary of doing that. If you do that wrong, you could void your warranty and end up with a really expensive paperweight. So this is pretty cool for the meantime. And, again, you can hide stuff that you don't want to see. So let's go back home. I'll use a little home icon that they provide. Another cool thing that Launcher Pro does is if I go to the next home screen, you see it's got kind of this 3D effect, which looks really crappy on the uh, the main view on my computer, but that's what the camera view is for, so you can see what that looks like. So, pretty cool. Again, you can customize that as well in the preferences uh, folder there. Our preferences option that's customizable as well. Um, this does support live wallpapers. It doesn't support all of the wallpapers that 
came with the phone because some of those are HTC, but most of the wallpapers, live wallpapers you can get in the market, it will support. And last but not least, probably one of my favorite features is HTC Evo has a cool little kickstand on the back. Pop that out. Now if I turn my phone sideways, you can see the home screen turned sideways. And it's going to look kind of funky in the main window because it's sideways, but um, it's pretty cool if you want to have your phone kind of sitting on your desk, doubling as a desk clock. Um, that's what I do personally at work. And again, all your icons have been rotated as well. So pretty cool. Um, I like it. I personally think it runs better than uh, Sense as well. Um, I think my phone, to me, I've noticed that ever since I installed Launcher Pro, it runs a lot faster using Launcher Pro as the default skin for Android. Um, but there you have it. There's a, you know, pretty much a big uh, customization thing you can do to your phone. And uh, definitely looks pretty cool and gives you, you know, more functionality as far as customization goes. And that's the beauty of Android is you can customize till your heart's content. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And any questions, comments, just go ahead and put them in the comments section. And thanks for watching.